Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we actually made the APIs for the login or registration already. We are going to make another API. In the last video, I told we are going to go in the front end section, but we need to make another API for renewing our token. But renewing the token is going to be uh, close to what we are, are doing in the login section. So we're just going to say, okay, let's make something like renew refresh token.js.js not js it's basically going to going to be the same thing just copy the all the things when pasting here once say constant when your token is going to be an asynchronous uh, request response module the exports renew token and basically like that so now what we will be doing here we are first of all going to get the cookie of the user if there is a cookie if the user has no cookie we, do, we cannot renew any tokens of him because you know he's not he doesn't have a refresh token basically all right let's see what we're gonna do here we are not going to take any data from the user nope nope no data like that so we basically are just going to say uh, constant cookie is going to be called the request.cookies okay now here we need to have a kind of a condition so we have to say if user has cookies then only we want to proceed further if user doesn't have any cookies then uh, sorry my, my boy you cannot proceed proceed further so we'll just say if cookie or dot refresh token is there dot cookie dot refresh token basically I'm gonna say then we wanna proceed further okay then we wanna go into this section and then here we wanna do something that we will that we will be doing alright so now once we know this is the cookie section okay we can do another thing to provide this thing I'm gonna say if there's no cookie we're gonna say return response to JSON Data as zero. I'm gonna send a message. You can say, uh, "No cookie found." So basically, we're just gonna take the user to the login section. And if that's not the case, that means we have the cookie. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna say constant uh, find user is going to be equal to await user dot find one. Where refresh token is going to be equal to cookie dot refresh token. Okay, so we're gonna find the user. Now we let's say we couldn't find any user. Like that means basically this guy is using a refresh token that has been expired. All right. My boy is trying to do a lot of things. What is it if not find user? Then we wanna go in here. What we wanna do first of all? We want to uh, do one thing. We want to have a jw dot verify. It's the same thing that we did in login, basically. We're gonna have verify our cookie dot refresh token with the process with our secret key process the env dot uh, refresh secret key. We get the error and uh, we get the decoded JWT token. We wanna say if error. That means basically, once we get thrown an error, so what does that basically mean? It means this cookie is invalid. This cookie doesn't work. So we will say, yeah, okay, if this cookie is invalid, then we don't have an issue, right? We're gonna just clear the cookie anyway. We're gonna just say return if this is the thing. If this is not the thing, well, let's get the hacker user. It's going to be our await user dot find one. Where the underscore, where the guy with underscore ID is going to be decoded at ID. Then we want to say hacker user dot refresh token is going to be an empty array like we did before. And we want to say await oh hacker user dot save. And after exiting this function, we need to make this one asynchronous. We want to say response dot clear cookie. It's going to be process.eme.ref 
okay refresh cookie name oh basically just refresh token that's they are the same thing Alrighty, so we got the things okay you can hear say okay nice now what we're gonna do we got this thing right here now let's go out of this now we're saying yeah we found the user actually okay now what we want to do we want to delete his old cookies so you want to say uh, just copy these things a little bit of helping hand maybe okay good and we don't need actually to have this thing right here I mean we can but we it's also okay to keep it on top just for all the checks Kind of, kind of the same thing, right? So after doing this, we're gonna do the same basic thing. We're gonna have a new refresh token, new things, new refresh array. We're gonna save the new refresh token array, just as we did before. Okay, we don't have any refresh token. We didn't mean any refresh token like that. I'm gonna say constant refresh token is going to be cookie dot refresh token and there we go we should have thing we, other than saying connected we need to say find user All right find user find user and find user and after doing this we can just say response cookie is going to be the name of process dot image dot refresh cookie name and it's uh, token is going to be new refresh token and it's going to have an X cookie options actually cookie options response to JSON send JSON with the name of status one message token renewed so what we are saying whenever the token the access token finishes so we don't have to say renew refresh token okay it's more like a renew access token just renew token which means renew access token we're just renewing our access token it's not renewing refresh token okay we're just renewing that we're getting a new refresh token so that we do a little bit of refresh token rotation just to make sure that the user don't get hacked anymore and then when I say access token okay seems good seems chill yeah it seems good to me now once we're done with this thing what we want to do what we want to do Okay, everything seems good. Now we will okay, validate. We don't need a validation actually. And we don't need the big crypt thing actually. Okay, now we need to make another one, which is going to be verified token. Name it as verified token.js. You can call this one as renew token with the R small. So basically, verified token is going to do what? Okay. Verify token is just going to verify our tokens. Like we're making some requests on any page, or we're having any post request stuff like that. We'll first of all put this middleware right there. We'll first of all put this verify token middleware in all of our requests. So what is this middleware going to do? Well, I will show you. What well, a constant verify token is going to be in our asynchronous function. It's going to take the request, response, and next function. Because this is going to be the middleware, middleware function, so it's going to have the property of next. Okay, we just want to say okay, move on, move ahead. If token was not verified, we don't want to move ahead. We just want to say yeah, send the response back. Something token was not there, token was not here, blah blah stuff like that. You got me? Good. So we're just saying re verify the token in asynchronously. We have request, we have the response, we have the next function. So first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to say copy these two guys once we copy these two guys what we are going to do first of all okay we don't need actually JWT because there's going to be condition we are not going to send our refresh token everywhere we will be sending our refresh token everywhere 
but that refresh token will only be used to you know, generate other uh, access tokens like we did before. Here, what we did, if we find the user, then only we want to proceed further. Okay, one second. Let me see what we did here. I guess we messed up, messed up somewhere. We couldn't find the user. Now we don't. We will not be assigning this, this thing to the user, right? To this user, which was not found. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can just say return response of JSON state of zero. Message is invalid refresh token. Okay, we're saying yeah. This okay. Sorry, but this is an invalid refresh token. We cannot proceed further with this thing. And yeah, that's about it. We will not be going in this stuff. Otherwise, it, we will have say in okay, we didn't find the find user but still we're gonna create a new refresh token with some find user that was not there and it was all going to be missed so yeah we have to say return back if the refresh token was incorrect if it was tampered with or it was if it was expired we cannot use expiry tokens we have to delete the token first of all we don't want to keep that token we don't want to keep the cookie refresh token cookie which was expired with it now here we have to say verify token so we need to verify the access token how will we, we will be sending the access token to the server? We will be setting it using a header. We'll set a header with the name of authorization, and it goes like authorization bearer, stuff, uh, something like that. So here, basically, we're gonna say um, constant access token is going to be request of headers authorization. Authorization. They'll split at the space. We're gonna select the first one. So it will have a bearer authentication, right? Bearer auth authorization. So we wanna remove the bearer part, and we just wanna get the uh, authorization section. So yeah, it will have the token basically. Now we get this thing. Let me say if access token was not there. What we wanna do? We wanna just say. Uh, we want to just try to, you know, renew the access token. If the access token was failed, you know, if the access token was not there or something like that, what we are going to do for that one? We're going to send them some kind of response so they will actually renew the access token, and then try to do the thing again. Okay. No, 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 no. Basically, this thing means access token was not there. It just means uh, that. Do, 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 do. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? It just means we're not sending this authorization thing. Return response to JSON. Message. Access token not found. Okay. But if it was found, I'm going to say JWG. Oh, wait. JWG dot constant. User okay, we're constant. User ID is going to be away. Not actually away. We want to say JWG dot verify. JWT dot verify. Our access token with the uh, our process dot env dot access secret key. I get error and the decoded message. We want to say if error, then return null. Otherwise, we want to say return of a decoded message. So we want to say if user underscore id is equal to null, then what we want to do? We want the user to renew his token. Okay, that means his access token was finished. We want him to renew it. How do we renew it by ourselves? Maybe we can call the renew token function by ourselves. Can we? Um, not sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do one thing. In the renew token section, 
what we are gonna do we uh, let's say we'll send a request to this user we'll send a request and a response whatever it's just going to do we will let it do its thing okay let me just think about think about this thing Some response to cookie response to JSON send the JSON back to the thing but we don't want to send in the JSON this is not going to be any thing that the user is going to do by their side okay it's going to be more like a server side of thing that we want to renew the user's tokens automatically by ourselves okay when the access token is expired we don't want the user to feel like it's just something expired okay because we have the refresh token to renew it again and again again and again again and again so we can have one thing other than having this thing in a separate thing we can more like just copy this thing renew token bye bye constant more like yeah we're gonna put it here once it's done we don't wanna give him the actual response right when we're saving the new refresh token what we wanna say we wanna send it back we don't want to send it back to the new access token yeah we do need to send it back to the uh, real access token okay one second let me just think about this one let's give more minutes Okay, we are going to manage the things in the front end. Yep, definitely we're going to manage them in the front end. We don't want to have the hectic things going on there. So basically, if it, we wouldn't, if the token was not, if the access token was not correct, which means it was expired, we want to say return the response to JSON. Status is going to be two. Message is going to be access token needs uh, access token renewal needed if something like that yeah that was not the case so this was not also the, this also was not the case what we want to do we want to say yeah this guy was has the access token and we got the JWT now we need to see if it, this JWT is in the user so I'm going to say find user is going to be called await user dot find one oh we cannot actually find the user with the access token so it is basically saying yeah this access token is correct he has the access token, we cannot see access token if it's said blah blah stuff like that. Let's see. Okay, I hope this thing actually works. Because I'm not sure. You can do those those two things. And again once module to export is going to be equal to verified token. Imports, we need to import two things. First of all it's going to be Renew token. Another one is going to be verify the token. So we we'll just renew token is just renewing both the tokens, the refresh and the access, and the verify token is going to just verify the access token. Say. So Renew token, we get both of these things right there. We'll have to do a few testings before we can just go on with the more stuff.
verify token okay so I guess guys it's time for starting the testing that's the one thing let me just delete every single thing we have here let me go to collections let me just make a new collection with the name of applications in the collection we're going to make a new request it's going to be for the register request it's going to be a post request http colon slash slash local host 5000 slash authentication slash register I'm going to make a new request I'm going to be login login going to make a new request going to be verify token verify token okay so now we need to give the data body is going to be having username and it's going to have a kind of like an email Lonely editor of gmail.com. You'll have a password. Test one to one. The copy thing. Save it first of all. Paste it. Get rid of the username. Save it in the verified token. We don't need anything. Exactly. Let's do a send. We get the thing. Use a creature. Let's do a login send. We get the thing user has been logged in. Let me do a refresh. We get only one token. Let's do a send here. Okay, for disconnected. Split. Cannot read properties of undefined. Oh yeah, here we need to send our access token. Oh my bad. Authorization. Let's say bearer and our access token. And I'll post a verified token. Alt slash verified token. Why cannot I post? 404. Verified token. Oh, not verified token. I mean, this is a renewed token. We don't need the verified token. And maybe we can just keep it there, but actually, we don't need it. So here we don't need here we don't need verified token. We need here renewed token. Token renewed. Okay, good. We get this new access token using an old token. Okay. Let me do a refresh here. There's a lot of confusion. So we have here VY. I'm going to send a request. We get a different access token. I'm going to do a refresh. VY. We had VY before. We have 94. 9. That's good. So which means this uh, renewed token is actually working. It's rotating our refresh token also. And it's also providing us with a new access token to be used. Okay. So basically we're saying, yeah, our access token has been expired, we are not able to use it anymore. So what do we do? Well, here is a solution. You have to do this thing. Okay? Let's call for the renew token. And give us a new renew token. If you want to log in, you're going to say, okay, user has been logged in. If I do a refresh right there, we're never going to get more than one index. If we're, if the same as you're trying to do different things, right? Because we are having those checks. If we're going to do this same thing, where we don't have the cookie, we're going to clear the cookie. They're actually going to forget the old cookie, okay? Let me say I clear the cookie. I'm in here. I'm saying verify token send. No cookie found. Well, yeah, that's also a thing. I'm trying to log in, okay? Well, yeah, you're logged in. There we go. Okay, we got a new uh, token. Let me do a refresh. And basically, they forgot the first cookie because we don't have the first cookie, so don't, they don't have nothing to do with that one, correct? 
because we don't we don't know he the user might have logged in that cookie in that with that cookie in some other account in, in the, some other mobile phone that he don't use anymore but we don't want to log him out okay so once he will try to log in another time if the token was already expired they will show him the according error and they will, will just remove that token at that time once he tries to access it okay once that's the basic of authentication system I think you understood it well and I know there's a confusion with the uh, verify token thing because this is going to be a middleware okay I also forgot that one what we will be doing for the verify token let's say we have some kind of router.post let's say upload video we'll have some kind of for videos thing like that it's going for an error for now okay no so we don't want to actually just to access the upload video what we want to do first of all we're gonna have our verify token here first of all it's going to be kind of like acting as a middleware so yeah that's the thing we'll manage the request in the front end basically for the verify token we will not be having any kind of uh, you know routes itself we'll just be having it here Okay, understood it well. Okay, I like this thing, <laughs> the collection thing. Well, yeah, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And the next video, we're actually going to set up our registration page and maybe the login page also. Well, have a good day, and I will meet you in the next one. Bye bye, and see you.